So our last video was all about golf glasses, the best glasses for golf. Not sure why I had to qualify that, Never mind. And when we published that video, people seem to have got the impression that that was the start of some kind of sports series where I'd be covering multiple different activities and talking about the best eyewear for those specific activities. Well, that wasn't the plan, but lucky for you guys, I do love my audience. So this video is gonna be the second part of our sports glasses series. Not that I have much choice in that. Where I'm going to be talking about the best sunglasses for sailing and fishing. And yeah, okay, I know you guys might not think you've got the same sport, but you're basically doing the same thing. You're on a boat, you're in water. Anyway, so hi, I'm Robert, style and vision consultant here at the Spectacle Factory. And it's my job to pair you with your perfect pair of glasses. And if you sail, or you fish, or if you sail and fish at the same time, I'm sure that is a thing that people do. There are three real things that you need from your eyewear. Number one is the right frames, of course. And these Jobo sunglasses are a fantastic example of a good pair of fishing or sailing sunglasses. Why is that? Well, number one, you've got really good coverage, both from the top, the bottom, and the sides. A lot of people don't realize this, but water doesn't only reflect UV, it actually intensifies it. So pretty much sailors or fishermen, I have to, I'm gonna have to keep saying both things, aren't I? Or mountain climbers, anybody who's in snow or ice, those are the people that are exposed to the absolute most UV and therefore require the most UV protection possible. And therefore you do need your sunglasses to cover as much as possible to really try and prevent any UV permeating around the edges. And that's not just to protect the health of your eyes, but it's also to protect the skin around your eyes as well. You see UV is the primary cause of skin cancer around the eyes and skin cancer around the eyes is the most common form of skin cancer so it is really something you've got to take seriously. So therefore number one is the protection that sunglasses give you, that really needs to be top notch. And a great bonus feature which these Jobo sunglasses have is if your sunglasses are also floatable. If these were to drop in the water they would not sink. You might think that sounds like a gimmick, I thought it was a gimmick but trust me when you've been an optician as long as I have you've seen plenty of sunglasses, well I've not seen them, I've heard about plenty of sunglasses going under the water. You might not think it will happen to you. In fact, I'm pretty sure that you're sure it won't happen to you. But just think that everybody it has happened to also thought the same. It might seem like a gimmick to have floatable sunglasses, but trust me, it will save your, I was gonna say it will save your life, that's probably a bit over the top. It will save your sunglasses one day, I promise. So if you can get some floating sunglasses that give good coverage all the way around, that's absolutely ideal. That's a great starting point. And of course the strap on these will probably avoid them going overboard in the first place. Number two is, you must, must, must have polarized sunglasses. For those who don't know, a polarized lens is a filter and what it specifically filters out is glare. Now glare is generated anytime sunlight reflects off a smooth surface like water or the road. So the polarized film in a polarized lens will actually take away 100% of glare. That makes a massive difference compared to ordinary sunglass lenses. For a lot of people, it's beneficial, but for a sailor or a fisherman, it's essential. If you're a fisherman, by the way, it's actually really handy to have polarized lenses because what they allow you to do is see beneath the water's surface. Because they take away that surface level glare, you can actually see the fish beneath the waves. You can see a lot further into the water with a polarized lens than you can with a regular tinted lens. Now this particular polarized lens that I've got here, is called an adaptive sun polarized lens and the advantage of that is that it starts off at this light brown tint and it'll actually get progressively darker as the conditions get brighter so if you're out on the water and the sun's really beaming down on you these lenses will block more of the sun than any other lens in the world but if you go into the cabin for example or if the clouds come it will fade back to this kind of color and you can still see you've still got good visibility so you'll never have to take your sunglasses off you can just put them on forget about them and they're going to be doing the job all the time. You'll also notice this is a brown lens and brown is the ideal colour for being on the water. The reason for that is because we have a prevalence of blue light both from the sky and from the sea and a brown lens will filter out as much blue light as possible. But that's where the third point comes in and on top of your lenses being polarised I would strongly recommend to have them mirrored as well. Now a mirrored lens will reflect extra sunlight away from your eyes so it makes your sunglasses even more protective and you particularly want a blue mirror coating. Why? Because it reflects blue. It's gonna take even more blue light away from your eyes. The advantage of that is because you're in a predominantly blue environment. 
that washes out the contrast, it washes out the picture that you're seeing. By eliminating as much blue light as you possibly can, it's going to make your eyes a lot more comfortable, improve your contrast and your visibility. Now the mirror coating isn't essential, you can get away with just a brown polarised lens like I just showed you. But if you combine the two together, if you add that mirror coating to the brown polarised lens, you're going to get the maximum protection for your eyes possible and you're going to have the best visual comfort. Your eyes are going to feel the most relaxed when you're fishing or sailing. I know you guys are out on the water for a long period of time, so you don't want your eyes feeling tired. And with this setup, they won't be. So I hope you found this video interesting and maybe interesting enough for you to carry on watching this series of sports glasses that I'm going to be showcasing. If you feel that way, subscribe to the channel. It really helps us grow and it gives me a bit of validation as well. So, you know, there's multiple benefits. If you enjoyed this particular video though, do give us a like. Also, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I love answering your questions and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.